Hello and welcome, I'm Chris and this is the Hair Tutorial Channel and on this channel I give you weekly hints and tips on everything hairdressing from cutting, colouring to hair up. And on this week's video I'm going to be looking at a root tap versus a root drag. How to do it, when to do it and why to do it. So let's go over to the head blocks. Before you start what you really need to do is decide how you're going to apply this. Are you going to apply it to pre-wash damp hair or are you going to apply it to dry hair? Are you going to use a demi or are you going to use a permanent? Now this will depend purely on the effect you're trying to achieve. So for instance it may be a fashion statement, your client may want to try it or it's the latest thing so why not do it at the basin after the highlights with a demi permanent. This way it will gradually fade off and you won't get so much of a demarcation line. And also as well you can do this with toners. You might want to use a nice light 10 toner with some violet to get it really nice and clean. However on the roots you might just want to use a toner of say a 7 or an 8 just so that you have a light shadow going on the root. There are so many options when you're doing this. However, let's say a client comes to you and they've got very stripy highlights or highlights that have bled. In that case, you might want to do it on dry hair with a permanent color to make sure that it doesn't fade. So these are all things that you need to consider. So think carefully and get an idea of what it is you or your client wants. The principle behind the root tap is very, very simple. But as you can see, what I've done is I've actually sectioned it out about an inch through this front because at the minute clients like the money piece. So you could section out your money piece and tap that last or you can include it. It purely depends on what you want to do. Now I would suggest just doing this at the basin, but I'm going to do it nice and quickly and nice and cleanly right here. I've got my color mixed up. Now you could go through and do the whole sectioning and then come back through and comb it through. However, I find it much easier just to do it as I go. So simply tap the root with some color. That's it, half an inch, half a centimeter of color. Then you're gonna comb it through. Now when you're combing it through, you don't want to use too fine a tooth of a comb because that's gonna pull it down too far. And you don't wanna to use too wider of a comb because that won't pull it through enough. It's a bit of the Goldilocks syndrome. Just find the right tooth comb that's right. I tend to find the cutting comb. The wide tooth on that is fine and just gently pull it through. Don't ever stop, because if you stop, you're gonna cause a line. And then it's simply a case of working your way through each of the sections and applying it as you go. So apply and comb. That's all there is to it. With that done, we're now gonna to move to the money piece. Now, you could as well put your toner, if you're at the back wash and you wanted to brighten your highlights or tone your highlights. Once you've done this, again, you could go through your ends and just melt in your toner so that the toner has less time and allow the roots to take a little bit more. Again, like I said, very, very flexible technique. And around the front, exactly the same, but I'm just switching to a smaller brush, give me a little bit more sort of detailing and I'm not doing quite as large a section. I'm probably just doing sort of half a centimetre on this. But like I said, it's always your choice. I just want to keep this blonde piece blonder. Well, my client wants to keep her blonde piece blonder. And as you can see, I'm doing this sort of all as one section and then I'm going to comb it through just because it is such a small section. And once again, I'm going to comb it through in the direction that I want, just a little bit, really sort of a light flick on that. So other side, process, and in the meantime, let's look at the root drag. Okay, so now on to the root stretch, root drag. And again, a very similar principle. I've taken out my money piece, that's optional if you want to do that. And I'm now gonna apply more color to a larger section. So probably two to three centimeters. 
and I'm going to use my large comb with a roller built in it to pull it further down the hair. And once we get to the top, we really want to make sure that we are dragging all of this down to the curvature of that head. I'm pulling the color all the way down to the curve of the head and then combing it through. Okay, so let's get this done all over the head and come back to this money piece. Once again, I haven't applied it as far, probably about one and a half centimeters, and I've moved back to my wide tooth comb on my cutting comb to pull it through. So I'll do the other side, dry it off, and I'll show you a comparison between the two blocks side by side. I've dried them off straight just so that you can see the effect. But here, we have our root drag, so much darker, dragged down further, coming into lighter on those ends. Whereas here, we have our root tap. So you can see really it is only the very root that has been touched, just blending those highlights in. So whichever effect you prefer, why don't you comment below and don't forget to like, subscribe and I'll see you next time.